Hello, this is Charlie Ingalls and I'm speaking to you from Ottawa, Canada today. I'm the developer of the mobile SCD Cribs app. And before we get into details about the app, I'd like to thank various people who have been involved in the development. Uh, primarily Asm from Scottish Country Dance Database, the Strathspace server, and James from Minicribs, as well as Keith from Keith Rose Diagrams. I'd also like to mention Lydia Hedge, who has uh, checked out the app before it's been released and also has edited any of the text that I've incorporated with it. And now here we are in the app. I'm running it on a tablet at this point, but of course, as I said before, it can be also run on phones as well. The first page recognizes the people who have been involved, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, this will appear every time you open the app, but once it's open, you can go down to the close button here and click on the close button and you'll be taken to the list page. If this is the first time you're using the app, you'll be shown this display, create a new list. If not, you'll be shown a list of all the lists you've already created and you can choose which one you want to work on. Let's just create a new list here. I'll just call it test one and I'll save it and you'll notice that the name of the list appears up here. Then you can start adding dances to the list. You can add dances just by typing in the first few letters of the, the, the dance name. By putting in Davy, we've got three dances with Davy in them. Let's choose Davy Knickknack. You can also put in a divisor's name, for instance, Drury. And we see all of John Drury's dances. Let's just choose this one. We can put in a publication name. Uh, if it's RSCDS books over about book 10, you can just put in the book number and it'll show you the dances published in book 31 and you can choose a dance there. And the fourth option that you have is to put in the format of the dance. Now that's this is done in a specific format the same way as it's displayed on this list tile. So for instance, I can ask for a 32 bar jig space hyphen five couples and we have uh, these dances here let's just choose this one and that's that so you've got to be very careful on how you put in the um, the format of that it's a 48 bar jig space dash space and then the format of the dance so this is how you can build up lists for the dance. So now we've started to build a list. If we wanted to change the order of that list, all you have to do is come over to this area with the up and down arrow and just slide the item down and it will move to its new position. Dances can also get some special items. This matches what you can do on Scottish Country Dance Database. If you long press in the middle, you'll get a choice of special program items. So if this is going to be an extra in your program, you can just click on extra and you'll notice extra appears before the name of the dance. You can remove that. If this was going to be an alternative dance, you can again click on there and you'll be able to get an alternative dance. If you come to the left hand side, you'll see this item here, which is copying a dance. And it's possible to copy a dance to another list. So if I click on here, we'll get a list. And let's say I want to copy it to this list. I just say copy dance and it will be added to that list. If you put any notes, which we'll talk about later on the dance, those notes will be copied over to the other list as well. We can do various other things with the list, but first of all, let's display the saved lists I've used this program before, so I have meaning lists on here. You'll notice here's a list of all the dances and you can scroll up and down if you've got lots of them. Notice the list that we just created will always be at the top of this menu here. So you can always find it easily. We can also rename the list. So if we don't like the name test one, 
we can change it to my list and say save and notice it's now changed its name and if we check up here it's now up at the top as my list you can also do a duplication of the list if you want to use the list and change the orders for instance you can click on duplicate the list and again it gives you the name of the list as it is right now and you can either erase that name and put something else in or you can just add to the name I'll just call this dupe and I'll duplicate and now we're on there again display save lists we have my list dupe and we have my list let's go back to the original my list click on here we're back to the original my list now now if you're a teacher you may want to add some other items to this list and you can add non-dance items so if you want to show a break in your program or an intermission you click can click on intermission and say add and we have the intermission now we can change the order of items on the list by moving it to this up and down arrow and just sliding up and we can place the intermission wherever you ever we, we want it up there for instance and with this new version of the program we can actually add more than one intermission again it'll appear at the bottom first and then you can move it up and for teachers as you can see on the non dance list there are also other options you can put warm-ups cool downs step practice and figure practice so let's add a figure practice and in this case you get prompted for what it is and uh, we want a two couple knot and you can enter your notes I'm going to stress bar 5 save and update and now we've got the figure practice and that can be moved in front of whatever dance we want to practice that so this is how lists can be built and lists can be reordered the other thing we can do with the list is if we don't if we change our minds and we don't want to do Arcadian jig we can delete that and that's done by sliding it over and we can undo that we've got a few seconds to undo that if we didn't mean to get rid of that dance but if we mean to get rid of the dance just wait and the dance will disappear and the list will reorganize itself without that dance appearing so that's how we can play with lists we can also use the sharing storage the advantage of this is that not only can you move a list from one of your devices to another say you have an iPhone and an iPad you can move the list back and forward between the two very simply but you can also share the number that's assigned to the list to anybody else that you wish to share it with with that and the app they can then pick up that particular program and it will appear on their device as well so let me just save this list to sh sharing storage the one called my list and it's been saved as list number 28 328 so that's the number you have to remember except in fact one of the other options is here display delete saved lists on sharing storage and what you'll find is that all the lists that you've saved on sharing storage since the beginning of using version 4 will be listed and the names of the list so you don't have to remember the number the system will have recorded it here and you can refer to this display to find the, the list number so we can dismiss that so this is the way that you can save lists you can load lists from storage for instance I'll load list 304 which I'd saved before and we have uh, the list March 27 24 again it's a, it's a class plan a simple class plan with this series of dances 
and a couple of breaks in the middle of the class. So that's how you can handle uh, that. So you can download, you can save lists, you can also delete lists on sharing storage, and you can delete one or more lists at the same time, uh, depending on uh, what you want to get rid of. We can click on two of these. We can say delete lists and say, yes, I want to delete 311, and yes, I want to delete 328. And it confirms that they've been deleted and they're no longer on sharing storage. It's also possible to delete lists from the device as well. It works in very much the same way. For instance, say I want to delete this and this list. I can just click beside the two, say delete lists. If you wish to delete the whole Boston uh, Highland Ball list, you can say yes. If you say no, it will not delete that particular list, but it will continue on to delete any other lists that you have a tick against. In this case, I'll say yes. And there we are. We've deleted some lists from the device. And we also now know how to delete lists from sharing storage. You can also load lists from the Scottish Country Dance database. Uh, this is done by putting in the number of the public list on Scottish Country Dance database. The number of the list can be seen at the top of the list as you dis display them on Scottish Country Dance database. Notice this only works for public lists. Private lists will have to be made public before you can download them. So for instance, if I type in this number here and say load list, it takes a, a few seconds, but there's the list for that particular event on Scottish Country Dance database. If somebody goes and changes the list, updates the list on Scottish Country Dance database in the past, you had to remember the number. Now the system automatically remembers the number. So as long as you have the item already displaying on your device, you can go down and reload the public list. And it will reload the public list. And if there have been any changes, they will appear here as well. And the other option we have here is print the list or save as a PDF. And if we click on that, the system will ask you what you want to print out. You can have cribs, you can have uh, Keith Rowe's diagrams, both cribs and diagrams and teacher notes if you're a teacher. However, I'm not going to do this because this is actually running on my computer uh, and the PDF doesn't work on that, but it does work on all phones and it works on all tablets, but it doesn't work if you're running it live on a Mac. Here we have the uh, display of our list. We want to see the cribs. We just click in the middle of the tile and we get taken to uh, the display of both the Keith Rose diagram and the the crib itself. We get the information about what kind of dance it is, the number of couples, and uh, which book it's from, and who the divisor was. We also get videos and more information. Now, if you're a dancer and you've taken this to a social, you can put a note on this dance, say you had decided and ask somebody to dance a specific dance with you. You could type in their name, save an update, and you'll notice a note is added at the bottom uh, saying that you were planning to dance this with Lydia. If you're a teacher, you can add your notes and uh, for a specific dance, uh, for instance, highlighting certain bars in the dance, bars 11 and 12, you want to do uh, stress a certain thing these can be added to any dance that you've got on your list. If you're working on, on a phone, there is one other option that you have. On the phone, you can click and what you'll get is you'll get, in this case, the Piper and the Penguin. Here's the diagram. If I turn the phone on its side, 
it will automatically display just the Keith Rose diagram in full screen. So it's much easier to see than, than looking at it if it's in portrait form. Also, with the videos, if you've got a video here, and notice with the videos on the phones, you can find other videos by just slipping right or slipping left on the list below. You can start the video and then by turning the phone on its side you can enjoy it in full screen and then if you rotate it back again the video will still be playing in the portrait mode. So it is possible to get an enlarged full screen version of both the video and the Keith Rose diagram. Well that's the video. I hope this has helped get you through the initial learning phase of how to use the app. If you've got any questions please contact me uh, at uh, this address that's showing on the screen now and I hope you enjoy the app.